Markov chain is a discrete time, discrete value, random process that uh, takes values obviously from a finite set S and let these values be S1 to Sn and let the output of this process at the nth instant be Xn. Then This is what we have. This is the kind of uh, stuff that we have dealt with till now, right? Guys? So you mean that Xn, the input at Xn is not dependent output, on the previous. Output, we are just talking about so the output. output. At, okay, the output at Xn doesn't depend on yeah. the previous. Yeah, process. the okay. output at the nth instant is Sn and the the probability ability that or so let me call it S L probability that the output of this system at the nth instant is SL. This is the kind of uh, discussion that or these are the kind of probabilities that we have talked about till now, right? Yes, sir. But as we stated earlier, a Markov chain chain is a random process with memory and the <coughs> output at each instant depends on the past outputs. Therefore, what we write is so probability Xn equals SL given Xn minus one. In minus two. Right? This is the probability that we will be interested in. That given the past k, past k values, what is the present value? What is the probability of uh, this thing generating a present value? Do you agree with this? This is a system with memory. Yeah, Kirti. So I have a small doubt. Like in the initial yeah, sure. part, we we were studying about uh, predicting R of n, right? Like if we have the no, we are not predicting. We are not predicting. This is uh, we are not predicting anything. So here probability, like here, then what is the difference between that and this? Uh, yeah. So one, the prediction that we did earlier. That was for a continuous valued process. This is a discrete valued process. One. Two, there we are trying to use the past to predict the present or predict the present value. Here or there we are using a correlation. Here we are saying that, uh, okay, so I give you that, uh, uh, you know, mm, so consider. A stock market or consider say some stock say steel stock consider some 
no and i say that or i consider some stock and uh, you know that so let at the end of each day one denote that the stock ends up gaining and zero denotes the stock ends up losing fine you can uh, do this for yes, any sir. stock so now now we know that or rather consider a simpler example why go into stocks so let one denote the let let us talk about stock about whether so let us talk about the weather of guwahati and let us say that at the end of each day a zero denotes that it had rained that or a one denotes it had rained that day and a zero denotes that it didn't fine this is something uh, you are comfortable with yes sir yes so for this being the case now let it is fair to assume that uh, if it rains today the probability of uh, it raining the next day depends on it somehow yeah it would ha huh. it depends yeah. yeah it would so now let no if it has rained on or rain today or rain yesterday then the probability of raining today is p if it hasn't rained today then probability or raining yes rained yesterday raining today is q then consequently you can say that if it has rained today and then the probability of uh, uh, rain raining it hasn't rained today and the probability of uh, not raining tomorrow 
is 1 minus q and 1 minus p respectively. Fine. Okay, sir. Then letting xn denote the state of rains nth day I can say that probability xn equal to 1 given xn minus 1 equals p probability xn Right? Okay, no, uh, uh, so this makes some sense. Yeah, this is know. an example. Yeah, yes, so sir. yes, this is a Markov chain. And so if it depends on the past two days, so it will also depend on the probability of raining during the past two days. And uh, I can construct uh, such a similar, I can construct such similar probabilities for the past two days as well. Yes. Right, so, or in general, I can construct similar probabilities for the past fine. Agreed? Yes, sir. Yes, so now let Yn be Xn, Xn minus 1. So Yn is the state of the system that incorporates the outputs from the k previous days or k previous instance right so if x n takes values out of a set S by N takes values out of a set
fine. You agree with this? Yes, sir. Yeah, so actually, no matter how long is K, we can always say that the present state of the system depends only on the past state or past step only on the one stage past state right we can uh, reduce any order k dependence into an order one dependence using this little trick yn always depends on only on yn minus 1 or rather yn will always depend only on right Sir, yeah. So basically, you are converting from x n random variable to y n random variable, where y n is like set of k k set of yeah. random. Yeah, it's a vector. Simply okay, yeah, it's a, ve okay, a vector. So now, just by one pass state, this thing you are doing. That's it. Right? Yes, it's just uh, so the idea here is that uh, if you uh, you can reduce anything to one pass state. You can accommodate everything into a state and uh, say that everything depends on it. So you need not worry much. Fine, sir. Makes life simple because say if you have a, a structure of two days, three days, you have to do more and more bookkeeping that way. Yeah, sir, but still the memory will be the same, right? Because yeah, the memory will story... be the same. The... Yeah, the memory will be the same. The mathematical uh, tractability becomes less. Okay, sir. Okay, I'll come to that. So now, yeah. So. Now, what can do is can say as vector n. So, and yeah so can you once again explain like why yn is depending only on yn minus 1 see i say that uh, the xn depends on the past k values of xn minus 1 right you agree with that yes sir so now what i am doing is i am uh, taking so yn minus 1 equals xn minus 1 right yes sir so, 
and xn depends only on yn minus 1 fine yes sir so yn equals instead of a set it should be this xn concatenated with yn minus 1 goes from 1 or 1 to right the first uh, k minus 1 values of uh, yn minus 1 this is yn yes sir so this de this depends on only on yn minus 1 this is practically this depends only on y n minus one. Now it makes sense. Sure, but uh, as like y n depends on y n minus one, y n s by n minus one will also be depending on y n. No, uh, the I'm uh, yeah that will that it will depend. So the we. So uh, I'll quote Shannon because so see we know the past. The past is deterministic. We, we are only associating the probabilities to the present and the future, or mainly to the future. Okay, so we already know the value of y n minus. Yes. One. Yes. Okay. okay. Or uh, as Shannon used to say, I'll put this. This is a motivational quote. So. You know the past, but cannot change it. Do not, you can change your future. But you do not. So uh, Shannon used to say this, so I'll just uh, put it in here for context. You guys know Shannon, right? Yes, sir. So yes, so this and now. Yes, so yn depends only on yn minus 1. So I can say that uh, each state depends only uh, just on its uh, past value. Now I can, based on this, let p yn given yn minus 1 or let y n minus one be the jth of then this is for simplicity. Fine. So okay. what is SN? What is SN? So SN is the 
sorry s k my bad so s is the set from which uh, we will tone it down actually fine s s to the power k is the set from which y n takes values we can call it s without the loss of generality it is a sum set from which uh, y takes values okay sir we can call it uh, we can use any set for this because i had used s to the power k earlier i am using s to the power k but uh, without the loss of generality it can be any set s so now what why is it in hindi anyway now we can write this as a matrix p such that the ijth element of p denotes the value or the probability of the markov chain being in state i at the nth instant given that it was in state j at the n minus 1th instant fine now you see the beauty of reducing this thing to one state equation or one stage dependence you can write the entire thing down as a matrix make sense so k cross it will be a k cross key matrix right so it will be a matrix uh, with as many entries as uh, in the set that uh, y we can take values like i we have seen like it ranges from x of n minus 1 to x of n minus k so, so, so k that values x of uh, so that can be anything we are talking about uh, right now we are talking uh, about abstract quantities okay sir it can be anything just uh, we are talking about abstract quantities just uh, for my purpose was to show that uh, you can re reduce any order dependence to a order one dependence that was the first thing and then the second thing is that uh, with an order one dependence you can write these probabilities down as a matrix these are the two key takeaway points here okay sir okay and now based on this discussion we can formally define the markov chain so we can define a markov chain as a finite state machine you know what a finite you have uh, talked about finite state machines in the digital electronics course right yes sir yeah so this is a finite state machine with the state at instant n denoted by y n taking value i'll reduce it to s so 
such that it can be expressed as a one step evolution process. So we have said that it can be expressed as a one step evolution process and the value of the random process at time n denoted by xn depends conditionally oh sorry depends statistically not conditionally statistically on the state through the conditional probability mass function x y n fine if y n given y n minus one is time then Markov chain is called stationary. Oh, sorry, homogeneous. It's called homogeneous. Fine. So for a homogeneous Markov chain, we can define the state transition matrix. P and the element at ith j through ith row and j column represents the probability of transition from state J to state I. Fine. This is fine.
so we have a matrix ya yeah, kirti could go up a little yep sir could you explain the last point of the the paragraph which you have written on top the so, pm of thing like yeah conditional pm so we said that the probability pmf is the probability mass function so what we are saying is that the output at any instant depends on the state with a conditional uh, probability mass function uh, that is defined like this Should, uh, like why n minus 1 or why of n so like that is uh, uh, that so it depends on the state actually so if you that depends on the way you define the state if i define the state containing only the past values then it is true in our oh sorry yeah in our case it will be n minus 1 but uh, for the definition of a markov chain it uh, so for the example that we took the notation is slightly different okay so, okay. Okay, so according to this notation y of n means uh, like it starts from x of uh, n minus 1 to n minus yes three. yes yes okay. according to this notation so this is okay. slightly different from the example i considered okay sir fine Sir, there it so, is x n equal to i or y n x n equal to x n equal to i y n equal to j. Sir, y n is a set of values, like vector so, of values. So uh, again, these are uh, y n takes a value from a set S, and uh, x n and y n are taking values from different sets. Sir, uh, below you wrote that i through and j column represents transition from state uh, j to state i. So i is also should be the so, same. No, this this on this. So there y. You also look at y. If yeah. so both are different. Yes. So Markov okay. chain you can. So Markov it need not be a square matrix one. Transition so from state minus one. Where? Sir, in the conditional PMF, uh, do we have to no, take the? No, this is conditional one? PMF. This definition is right. So, this need not. What I'm saying is, this need not be a square matrix. Or uh, I should put the definition this way: the probability of uh, getting an output i. from state j probability of getting uh getting an output i from state j fine now it is it is the statement more coherent Yes, sir. So could we could we consider this is this has a different type of representation? Like same thing we are studying, but different representation. Yeah, that would become confusing. So I want to make it as homogeneous as possible, or as uniform as possible. I made a mistake in the example because that example I uh, just. Uh, Uh, that example wasn't in my notes i just constructed that example out of nowhere so i made a mistake that yn was slightly different from the yn that we had defined here so okay so, so one last time verification so the last paragraph yeah, yeah. which you have written is p of x of n is equal to i given that y of n is equal to j for the last paragraph yes yes okay so. i'll write it again now these two are consistent at least fine so considering now considering similarly the 
state transitions from yn minus 1 to yn and we can extend the above definition to a square state transition matrix. OK, so this Xn yj matrix or Xn yn matrix need not be square. You agree on that? Guys, so which matrix again? Uh, this matrix Xn, Yn. So the number of elements in Xn and the number of elements of Yn from which the Yn get values, these need not be equal. Yes, sir. So this matrix need not necessarily be square. Yes, sir. But if I consider a straight transition matrix, that is the a matrix where we go from state I to state J that will necessarily be square. Yes, yes sir. So. Fine. So the state transition matrix matrix is really square. And let P N for a total of N states. Denote the probability vector of the system state at the nth instant such that P L N Fine. Or uh, uh, PLN is the probability that uh, the system is in the Lth state. Fine. This is the absolute probability, not the conditional probability. Fine. So, so yes. L is the state, right? Yes. L, L represents. So, Yn is yes. a collection of states, right? Like, Y is like a, like collection of y all the past. Y is the state, X is the output. That's why I dist distinguish Y, X, and Y. Y is the Lth state. So, so what does P of N represents then? Like? P of, N. P of N is a vector containing all these states. Uh, the probability is corresponding to all these states. See, it there are a total of L states. Okay, sir. The, so there are a total 
of capital L states and the system can be in any of these states at the L sorry at the nth instant right yes sir so pl of n is probability that the system is in the lth state at time instant n and this equals summation say p goes from 1 to capital l probability y n minus 1 equals no p won't be a good idea say m equals m right yes sir fine now i right pn equals as a vector so transpose then one given fine fine yes sir so just let me see it once so basically the matrix so i can write this as a matrix equation right and uh, if i'm not wrong this should be right i'll just check cross check the okay we are almost out of time so we'll cross check the transpose tomorrow and continue yes sir we'll ah, okay, continue so. here yeah okay you guys have a class after this 
uh, yes sir okay yeah so let's stop and we'll pick up from this point and i'll check whether this transpose is needed or not hello sir okay sir yeah. is this chapter in the same book no so this uh, uh, modulation with memory actually is in the next chapter Uh, okay, from the same sir. book, but but uh, for doing modulation with memory, we require Markov chains. So Markov chains, I am uh, teaching from uh, the digital communications book by Prokis again. That is uh, in the chapter on probability. Okay, sir. Okay. So Markov chains, you might have to uh, look at some other source. or otherwise personally my personal favorite for markov, markov chains is uh, there is this book called introduction i'll write it here introduction to not Sheldon Cooper. So I like this book, but uh, this uh, goes into too much detail. Uh, we don't require that kind of a detail for this course. This book is easily available. Fine. Yes, sir. OK, so we'll stop here you, and pick up tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.